Okay, now you want to go into MetaTrader, and since you've already set up your email address, you can come up here and click on Tools, select Options, and these are the options for MetaTrader. There's a bunch of tabs at the top. Um, just click on Email, and click on this first box, Enable, and then SMTP Server. Um, this is information that you may have to find out from your host if you're not using HostGator. So you can just email the tech support and they should be able to tell you the answer to this. Um, for HostGator though, it's mail dot whatever your domain is. So mine is and yes, that's not a typo. I when I signed up for that for this domain, I spelled it wrong, but it's okay because it's just a demonstration domain. Um, SMTP login is going to be your email. Your, and whatever your password was, put that in here. Then you can put in a name and an email address or you can just put in an email address. Um, if you put in a name in the text message, the name will cl come up. If not, you'll get a default name and the email address. So we're just going to make it simple here. And we're going to put in the email address. In the To field, you're going to put in your email address for your mobile phone that's going to send your mobile phone a text message. So you're going to have to find out what that is from your uh, mobile phone provider. Um, I've provided a list of what the text message email endings are for different mobile phone carriers below there's a link so you can check that out um, it's usually just your phone number at something so in my case I'm just gonna enter and the ending for my text messaging service okay so if everything checks out I'm gonna press the test button and it's gonna say message queued and look in the journal for more information. So I'm going to click OK. So I'm just going to wait a couple seconds and I should get a text message in my on my mobile phone. If you don't get a text message, you can click OK here and click on this button, the terminal button, and you can look at the journal, this last tab here, and you'll see the status of the messages. So if it says message failed or you're not getting the text message come back here to tools options and then double check your information here so I put in my information and I'm gonna go check my text messages and I'll show you what came up